This is a van tour of my 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan SE model. One of the main reasons why I chose the SE model was so I can go from the front seat into the back with no console interfering. This is sitting in the front seat looking at the back of my van. I wanted to have my van accessible from the driver's side and the passenger side. This is the driver's side. Right here I have a Jackery 1000 with solar panels. I'll go over that in another video. I have my window coverings here. My refrigerator is on the other side. I'll go around to the other side in a minute. And then I have my storage over here. Looking into the back, this is in drive mode. This is how I pack up when I'm ready to hit the road. As you can see, I have some heavy items back here. I have a five gallon water jug and an Instapot, which could go flying if I didn't have it secured. I also have some other camping gear back here, which I'll explain in another video. My bed consists of this small ottoman. Inside, I mostly have extra warm clothes. And I'll go around to the other side to show you my, the rest of my bed. The rest of my bed consists of a large ottoman. And for my feet, I just place them on top of the refrigerator. I purchased two lightweight metal frame cloth drawer dressers. And I have them secured with Velcro straps that go onto the seat belt. This would be entering from the passenger side. Lots of room to get in and out. Additionally, I can move the refrigerator over to the other side. This gives me plenty of room to set up a keyboard. The large ottoman lifts up and I have my dry food stored in here. There's a very heavy cushion on top of this ottoman to where I do not need a mattress stop. Each drawer in the dresser has a specific purpose. The ones on the left house all my clothes, whereas this side, I have my toiletries and my kitchen gear. I'll go over each thing I have in my kitchen gear in another video. These Velcro straps came in real handy for securing everything down. I find that I like these bungee cords for these other drawers. That makes it real easy. Or I can simply slide it down a little bit and reach inside. If I want to chill out, I can just pop my sleeping bag up in back of my pillow. And as you can see, when I move my Instapot, I can easily get out the back hatch. Some of the conveniences I have are a Lucy light, a clip-on light, of course I've got some wipes here, and a couple of fans. And no home would be complete without a junk drawer. I also brought an extension cord for plugging into electricity. And I got a little mat for when it's muddy outside. In another video, I saw someone use a shower cap to put their muddy shoes in. I think that's a great idea. And it's always nice to have an air freshener. 
I have my shoes down here under the passenger side. My TV tray is stored here. I also wanted to show you that one of the ways that I evened out the floor was simply to place carpeting underneath. The top carpet is a five by seven area rug. The only trimming that needed to be done was along the sides. My refrigerator is an Alpacool T36. It's a 38 quart dual freezer with refrigerator or when you lift this up in the middle it becomes a full refrigerator and it has the controls on the side here. I plug this into my Jackery. I can also plug it into um, any electrical that I have available to at a campsite. I bought the cover for it for extra insulation and also it's a little bit more cushiony on my feet when I sleep at night. I don't know how well you can see this but I do have window screens on my windows. Let me show you the inside. I'll go over the materials I used in another video. I purchased custom window coverings. It just seemed like such a hassle to make them with the Reflectex. And they go, I have them for around all the windows. I will not use them on these side windows here in the front and I will not use it on my windshield. Instead I bought a foldable windshield cover and I got the large size and I'll show you why. It makes the best separation privacy curtain from the front to the back. It's black on one side, silver on the other, and I basically just have it clipped right here in my um, side of my car. Clips in really easily. When I don't have electricity handy, I plug the Jackery into the front there. I can use it while I'm driving or I can use a little bit of my battery if I'm really in an emergency. But the Jackery itself is a power station. It is a battery. And it will last for several days, depending on what you plug into it. While I'm driving, I will plug it in back here in the back of my van. This side, actually. My refrigerator cord, which I will need to plug in, goes right there. I also have, there's USB ports on here, and there's outlets. And I also have one of these, which I don't, I think that's a little bit overkill. I don't think I'll be using that much. When I'm camping for several days, I have a couple of different choices. I have two 100 watt solar panels. I can set them like this easily if I just need a little extra boost on my windshield or they actually have a stand in the back that I can set up side by side. And these just plug right into the Jackery to recharge it. I have a lot of little goodies in my van that I just love. Over here I have a tent. Now I will not be sleeping in the tent. However, when I'm at a campsite that doesn't allow for me to sleep in the car, I'll just set it up. This is kind of cool. I need two hands for this. Now no way I'm going to take that five gallon container to get filled up. 
So I bought some smaller one, I think they're 1.3 uh, gallons and I got uh, four of them for when I get low. I can just fill this up in any dispenser, take the lid off of here and fill it back up. I also have a beach umbrella. And I'm a crafter. I have a Cricut maker at home, but I bought the little Cricut Joy to travel with. And its handy little storage area is right back here. Right in back of my camping gear. I have my smoke detector and my monoxide detector here mounted. And then over in here, I have my fire extinguisher. There's several different choices when it comes to going to the bathroom in your vehicle. The one that I found works best for me as far as being small and one that is real portable is a child sized potty seat. Now, this is foldable. It fits right in this bag and I store it right in that drawer. I put double bags in here and I also have a gel. The gel solidifies the liquid. This potty chair is strong enough to use as a step stool as well. Here it is folded up and I do sit on the bed to use it. One other thing that comes in real handy is the steering wheel table. It's actually, this one is two-sided. This one has a cup holder here. And if you flip it around, you can use it for your laptop or writing or whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed my van tour. I named my van Little Dove. I'm Travel Grandma. Please like below and subscribe for more videos. See you on the road.